क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटी थ्री इन ए गिवन कॉम्बिनेशनल लॉजिक एक्स इज गिवन बाई हाउ मच एंड फॉर योर काइंड इन्फॉर्मेशन आई वुड लाइक टू से दिस इज प्रीवियस गेट क्वेश्चन दिस इज ऑल्सो ए गेट क्वेश्चन फाइन दिस अ सिंपल क्वेश्चन इवन इफ इट इज गेट और वॉट एवर सो यू कैन सॉल्व एनी क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन मार्क्स बाय सिंपल लॉजिक सो बिफोर वी सी द इट्स अ क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन मार्क्स दैट इज ऑलरेडी अंडरस्टूड वाई इट्स अ मार्क्स सो विदाउट सींग एनी ऑप्शन और दैट I would like to say one concept based on max. So, if you take any max, see if you know this concept, the solution is done directly. I have not done anything here. You can see. See if there are four inputs. I not four by one max. I am considering. You can extend to eight by one, sixteen by one also. If you consider four by one max, I not I one, I two, I three. So it's a four by one max, and it has two select lines. Of course, it will have two select lines, right? So. and it has one output hence the name four inputs one output four by one max and the select lines are 2 power n see this i can express as 2 power 2 the number the power indicates the number of select lines fine that is done now how to find this output output can be found easily with the help of a mathematical expression so f is nothing but s1 bar s0 bar it's like 0 0 first case s1 bar s0 bar that you take then you multiply with Input i not, that is first term plus. Then you take zero one means s one bar plus s not. This zero one multiply with second input i one. Next third input one zero means one zero indicates s one s one into s not bar s one into s not bar. Then you multiply with second input i two, that is third term plus. Last combination is one one. One one means s one into s not. Then you take the final input i three. So in this way, you are going to get same logic you follow. You are going to get the output expression. It is a SOP expression. You need to sum of all products. This product one, product two, product three, product four. You need to add all those products. Means you need to sum sum all those products. Hence it is sum of products term. Now let us do do this same for this two marks. Okay, they are cascaded. So first we will find what is y. See, y is nothing but I have written here a bar b bar first term multiplied with input i not next a bar b this is like zero zero this is like zero one this is like one zero this is like one one then I am multiplying all the inputs okay so zero zero multiplied with zero then zero one this is like a bar b multiplied with one next you can see the second input is this third input is one again so third input is one. A B bar one zero. Next fourth input is one one, and the input is zero. So I multiply. So whatever the terms with zero, you can strike it off. Only terms with one you can consider A bar B plus A bar B. So this is similar to XOR gate. XOR A XOR B is nothing but A bar B plus A B bar. Yes or no? Everybody knows this. So this is the Y value. Why it is given to select S one, and S two is given as C for the second max. Okay. Let us substitute at the end. First, we will write in terms of S one, S two only. See, as in the previous case, the terms with the inputs with zero, no need to consider at all. See, for this and this, I have not considered. I have considered only these two. Similarly, for the second marks also, this and this I will omit. Only I'll consider these two. Means this is zero zero multiplication with means a bar b like that. This zero one one zero one one. So I'll consider only zero one and one zero. Zero one means This is zero one. One second, yeah. So this like zero one. This like one zero. So zero one means S one bar multiplied. Select line is S one S two. S one bar multiplied with S two multiplied with one plus S one into S two bar multiplied with one. So it's like S one bar S two plus S one S two bar. It's like X or gate again. So S one X or X S two. So what is S one? S one is nothing but y. Just now we have seen. What is S two? It's c. What is y? Y is nothing but a x or b. Just now you got. So it's like a x or b x or c is the final answer. So the right choice is a x or b x or c. You should know the expansion of a x or b x or c. I think you sh you people should know, right? If you don't know, please learn. So a x or b everybody will say a bar b plus a b bar. What is three input x or y? This also you should know. This is nothing but three terms you take, okay? A, B, C. Every time you apply negation at one one input means first time I am applying negation at this point. Next again you write A, B, C. Apply negation here. Next time 
a b again you apply at c then finally for the last term you don't apply any negation this is a simple logic to remember a x or b x or c one at a time you apply for one input one uh, negation you apply and for the last uh, product term you don't apply any negation and this you know this you know one more point i would like to say it's like all like extensions a x or mm, A x or b is not equal to A x nor b, but A x or b x or c is equal to A x nor b x nor c. You may get a doubt this, right? So whenever the inputs are odd, see you can see the inputs are here three. Here the inputs are two. That's what I would like to stress. If the inputs are odd in number, if the inputs are odd, then x or output and x nor output will be same. If the inputs are even, then XOR outputs and XNOR outputs will be different. So try to remember that point. Okay. And one more last point. A XOR B XOR A B if somebody asks. This is simply nothing but A plus B. Please remember this. This is also important. So this big expression will simplify to A XOR B. If you want, you can check you can check in using this second formula you can check instead of c you substitute a b you'll get the answer okay so it is a plus b so please remember that so here the right choice you can choose i guess so first option is the right choice because is it first choice yeah we made one mistake i'll show that see in a x or b x or the expansion it should be two at a time not one at a time take a b next you take b c next you take c a okay it should be two at a time okay and finally no at a time nothing should be filled okay so it's like uh, first term that you should leave one empty space one a one negation you should not do okay here no negation here no negation here no negation finally no negation for all nothing no negation for all the three terms so the right choice is option here you can see two at a time they are doing negation okay and finally no negation for the last term so option a is the right choice so this question you can do in 30 seconds if you know the max concepts perfectly and if you know the expansion of ax or bx or c so very simple question i hope you understood if you have any queries post them in the comment box and subscribe the channel for getting more updates